People who were caught cheating, or caught someone cheating. What is your story? My parents and I went to a Himachi restaurant once. They sat us next to my sister-in-law and her date. The one time I was cheated on made no sense. It was first year uni. I was dating a girl casually for like a week. Maybe two. And she was talking about getting more serious. She seemed cool. I was down. Next thing I know I come home unexpectedly early from class. There she is getting railed on the couch by my roommate. Thankfully there were only very early feelings that were destroyed in that instant. So it was pretty easy to be cold and just tell both to duck off or duck yourself or whatever. But it just made no sense she pushed to be exclusive. Then did that. I'll let the guy hear about it all rest of the term before I decided not to live with him. The next year. Had it happen and it sucks. She'd always blow me up when are you leaving to come home. What time are you going to show up type of texts, and I didn't think anything of it. I had a surgery, and came home from part and her phone was going nuts from texts. Normally I wouldn't snoop, but it was one after another. Apparently it was some dude, that she was banging, when I was at the hospital and texts were pretty vulgar. Asking when I was leaving next etc. I confronted her about it, and she tried to blow it off as a friend, except I was able to read them all. I packed my shit, and left that moment. Looked through my boyfriend's email, and found a picture he sent to himself of him ducking another woman his client, was a personal trainer. I'd been dating a girl for about 4 months, and then one time during sex she called out oh yes, Ben. This was problematic. Ben is not my name. I stopped immediately. She apologized profusely, and begged me to believe it was just involuntary, since that was the name of her ex she'd dated for several years. She was in tears, and seemed genuinely remorseful. I was doubtful, but mollified. I was a gawky 19 year old having sex. I wasn't about to rock the boat. Two weeks later I show up at her place during a time, when I was usually working I had traded the shift with a buddy. As I'm walking up to her place I can see into the window, and have a clear view, of her blowing a guy right in the living room. This was problematic. She was blowing Ben. I caught my dad cheating on my mom. I was 18 and the girl he was cheating with was only a few years older than me. For some reason Apple linked his phone number to my laptop. I saw all the texts and photos of her. I'm still mad about the whole thing. And he still blames the divorce on me. Turns out it's okay to have a gf half your age while married. But showing your mom the proof is the worst possible thing you can do. I went out with a guy for a year, and it was a horrible relationship. It went from cute clinginess to me not being allowed to hang out with my own friends or family without begging for permission. He was terminally ill. Liver failure. My grandmother who raised me died of the same thing a year prior. Every argument would end on this is how you want to spend my last months. When I die you will regret the time we spent fighting I'm a dying man and you can't even give me what I want. Your time should be spent with me, because I don't know how long I have. After a year of this, I found out that he was completely healthy. I locked myself in our room and went through all of his devices after a heads up from his aunt. Every medical document. Faked. Turns out every time he had a doctor's appointment, an MRI scan, an inpatient overnight stay to run tests, he was going to sleep with other women. Nine other women. Consistently. From what I saw he had a variety of lies for each of them as well. Each appearing to be tethered to how one of their family members had died, been abused etc. I sent them all a genuinely calm message of warning. About what I discovered. And he lost 10 hoes in one day lol. Wife went on a deployment to Korea for one year. Which is challenging enough. But she decided to have extracurriculars with a few guys, and one of them formed a shitty relationship with her. He was married with 5 kids. There were flags leading up to me finding out. 2 months into her deploy we got to see each other for a weekend. She kept asking about trying an open relationship. I said I don't think we are in a good enough standing for experiment. She asked about 5 times. Looking back I know now she was trying to get me to say yes, in order to clear her conscience. After that she gaslighted me. Stopped communicating. Well, not make time to call or anything. 
At her 6 month mark we book a vacation in a tropical paradise. I flew 18 hours to meet her. As soon as we get in the hotel she says I don't want to have sex. It's been 6 months. Later that night I get on the Kindle I bought her for Christmas. Found a conversation she was having, right before I arrived with a dirt bag. They had been ducking each other for months. Said they loved each other all the time. She refused to apologize. Said I was to blame. I booked a ticket home. On my way out the next day she did give a heartfelt apology. She was sorry she hurt me. Not sorry she did it. I knew right then she would just do it again. Filed for divorce. Gave her everything. Told her to keep the cursed ring and restarted. Living my best life now. Haven't spoken to her in 4 years. Got a great career and a woman who lifts me up. It gets better. You just have to put in work and give it time. Seek counseling if you feel suicidal like I did. Came home and caught my ex-wife banging her co-worker. Told him to get out. Told her to pack and get out. Divorced and much happier now. Looking back she was sketchy from early on in the relationship. But at the time I never thought she would cheat. IF was working construction and had all male co-workers. My boyfriend of 2 years was a nurse at a hospital in a different city. On our way to a get together I asked him to look up an address in my phone. Instead. He went through my text messages and found one that a co-worker who drove me to a job site sent me that was inappropriate. I didn't respond and he told me that was cheating. We ended up not going to the get together because he was mad and instead went back to his apartment and argued with each other for about an hour. As we are arguing, I notice him deleting G a bunch of text messages out of his phone from Ashley. Ashley is a nurse that he works with, but not closely. I knew street that moment he was projecting. I called Ashley and she confirmed. He had told her that we had broken up and that they have been dating for about 6 months. I noted out of that apartment and she called him and told him it was over. Ashley and I are still friends. 3 years later I get a Facebook message from a girl I went to high school with. He did the same exact thing to her and she needed someone to talk to about it. I had a professor no show for a class one time, so I packed up my stuff and went back to my apartment that I shared with a good friend. Walked in to find her bent over the coffee table getting railed by someone who was very much not her long term boyfriend. I didn't know what to do, so I just beelined it to my room. I gave them plenty of time, heard someone leave and assumed it was both of them. Went back out to grab my backpack and there was my roommate sitting on the couch. She burst into an explanation about why, who and when. I basically told her I thought it was shitty and she didn't need to explain it to me. I wasn't going to tell on her, but she should probably tell her boyfriend. She did and they ended up breaking up. Her new boy toy lasted like a month before getting bored. She regretted it. She told me often how much of a shithead she felt like for ending her relationship that way. I was dating a guy for 5 plus years at that point. He never really let me post him on social media or get into a Facebook official relationship. Found out one day because I posted and tagged him in something. The girl messaged me. She didn't know he had a girlfriend and they were sleeping together for the past 3 months. Mind you he was having unprotected sex with both of us. I put all his stuff on the porch of our apartment building and never talked to him again. The girl and I are best friends 5 years later. Came home from work at about 2am. Ex-wife's phone suddenly lit up as I came through the door. Walked over and the text message said I miss you. I walked into the bedroom and asked if I had anything to be concerned about. The response was Denny. Wouldn't that be funny? One month later on January 1st she told me she was leaving me. Did a bit of digging. It was for Denny. Big shock. Much wow. My brother ducked my first girlfriend in my bed. Her best friend told me a month or so after it happened. I had always suspected my dad was cheating on my mom. Never had concrete evidence just a hunch because he is a big extrovert and gets along with everyone. As a teenager I always told myself one day I'm going to ask him if he ever did. Well didn't have to ask as apparently he was having an affair on my mother with a young 20 something piece. My mom found out when the woman's husband came to our house and told my mom what was happening. 
and while she was just outside gardening. My poor mother not only tried to make it work afterwards, because she didn't think she'd find love again she has, and is happier than ever. I told her that wasn't a reason, to stay around as tough as it might be, even worse. My mom was a maternity nurse, and had to deliver the bitch's baby a couple years later. And no my dad was not the father. Since their divorce I have had numerous women tell me that my dad had texted them, or tried getting with them. So at the end of the day my hunch was very much spot on. I'm an idiot. Dated a girl who lived with her ex. Enough said. I don't know if it counts, but here it goes. Once I was in a party at my friend's house, we were really drunk, and my friend the host was going upstairs with a random girl he have a gf. He opens the bedroom and there is his gf having sex with her another dude. So basically they both cheated on each other, and found out the same time. Girlfriend at the time and I shared a laptop. I went to use it one day and she's left a messenger window open with a chat in which she was bragging to her friend about ducking some bartender. I came home after a long shift at the office and the door was slightly opened. I was concerned first, but then I saw my best friend who I've known since I was 10 getting sucked off by her. I stood leaning against the frame of the door watching and waiting for them to notice me. My friend looked over at me and full of fear said no no no. Basically they both stopped. She begged for me to forgive her with excuses. Like I'm just really horny I'm sorry. I was just drunk that afternoon. It's been 2 years since it happened, and I've completely shut her out of my life, and discriminate against her the very few times she's around. My best friend of 25 years was trying to duck my husband. She was hitting on him. Sending him nudes. Blatantly assaulting him sexually like trying to force herself on him when I wasn't around or nearby. He didn't know how to tell me, so he ended up screenshotting her texts and showing me. I haven't spoken to her in over a year. In the process I lost my other best friend of over 25 years because she stuck up for her and they tried to blame me somehow. Birds of a feather stick together though. And I realized that, although they were like sisters, they never really cared about me at all. I sent all my friends nudes back to her husband and he left her. Revenge is so sweet. I caught my good friend from bible study having an affair with my husband. I introduced them at a new year's eve party. I was clueless and blind to it all. He and I had been in marriage therapy for a couple years, and I thought maybe we'd make it. Friend was supportive, and praying for us. I began to get suspicious, and ask my other close friend about it. She told me to stop asking she would never do something like that. Suddenly, I found my husband going for begging and pleading and fighting for our marriage. To literally pushing me out with his escalated abuse. I filed for divorce, and moved out the next day. Since that was done in a hurry, I got court approval, to go back to the marital. Home when he would not be home restraining order against him. I checked the house phone caller ID to see, if I missed any calls, that he certainly would never forward to me. Well well well. Calls to and from friend every day. Several times a day. Starting with the hour, after I was gone. So I called her from the marital home phone. She answered all sexy, like Marilyn Monroe calling JFK on his birthday. So I immediately hung up. Clary, my hunch was worth looking into. About 30 minutes later, I saw friend at the elementary school, where we'd normally wait for our kids together. She asked me if I called her. I said no. She said, that's weird. Because my ex said it wasn't him. I said, what's weirder is that you assumed it would be him who called you and not automatically think it was me. I mean, I don't have a daily phone conversation habit with my friend's husbands. Why do you? Her face got bright red. She started to glisten with sweat on her forehead. She admitted to it. Just then, the bell rang and the hallway got louder and I said so loudly so everyone could hear. You're having an affair with my husband. All the adults heads turned. The kids were oblivious. I walked out with my kids and left her embarrassed, ashamed, guilty as heck, and totally unable to make up any story that counted the truth. With 15 other moms in the room, it was as good as letting the entire town know in one instant. She would later marry my ex. She would also be abused. She would divorce him after 18 months of marriage. Stupid bitch. 
consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.